um we are going now to discuss leaves uh these leaves are one they have a color so a, a leaf is a part of a plant uh, with a green color and remember we said from our previous videos uh, that this green color is called the uh, chlorophyll and this chlorophyll is very important in a way that it traps sunlight energy uh, with which these plants use to make uh, their food called the starch uh, then again these leaves uh, they develop from buds as we discussed and we have two types of buds we have the terminal bud which is the growing tip of a shoot system and the lateral bud so uh, these leaves come from the lateral buds on the stems of uh, plants uh, here we have our words before we go again any further uh, we have our words we are going to read through these words and we get simple meanings our word number one it is a stomata a stomata so when it is one it is called a stoma when they are very many they are called stomata so we don't call them stomatas we just call them a stomata and these are the openings on leaves uh, which these plants use to carry out gaseous exchange our number word two is gaseous gaseous this is gaseous uh, then if we put that exchange it means breathing so um, the stomata are used by plants to carry out gaseous exchange so we have our word number three this word is read as venation coming from the word vein so later on we are going to understand the meaning of the word venation and then here this is the word simple we have try foliate a uh, try means three and foliate means leaves so try foliate meaning three leaves and uh, this is shoot it is a system of a flowering plant and then this is pie net pie net and this is thatch a thatch is to cover the top of a house using grass to thatch a house then this is the lamina therefore lamina thatch pie net simple trifoliate shoot venation gaseous and stomata uh, therefore i urge you to pause the video and write these words in your book i'm reading them once again for one more time this one is a simple trifoliate shoot lamina thatch pinet stomata gaseous venation uh -huh. so let us now move on and see parts of a leaf so now here uh, so here we are going to look at parts of a leaf uh, so these leaves are made up of uh, very many parts then we are going to start with uh, so the, the stem so this is uh, the stem onto which the leaf is going to be attached then on a stem we are going to have a point where this leaf is going to get attached and this one is called a node and uh, then at the node we are going now to have um, uh, this part here I'm drawing this one is what we call uh, the leaf stalk uh, this one is a leaf stalk and uh, then this leaf stalk uh, we are going to get a large outer outline outer part here then the flame so all this one is called the lamina and if we don't call this one the lamina we can call it the leaf a blade and then inside here this leaf stalk which is also called the petal it is also called the petal on reaching the lamina inside here is going to develop or is going to turn into what we call um the midrib so when it enters the lamina we no longer call it the leaf stalk then it is now called uh, the mid rib or the mid rib then inside here uh, inside this space here the lamina or the leaf blade uh, we are going to have now tiny tiny branches and now these tiny tiny branches we are now going to call them the leaf margin i mean sorry sorry the leaf veins so uh, this one is a vein when there are very many they are veins so this one is the leaf vein now this outline of the lamina is called the leaf margin uh, this one is the leaf margin then this tip the sharp ending is called the apex so here we have the apex this one is the margin leaf margin now this space here the entire space here it is the lamina or the leaf blade and uh, then this this is the leaf stalk then here is what to call the midrib so the leaf stalk on entering the lamina it turns into the midrib then here we have the node and at the node we are going to have what to call the leaf base 
uh, this is the leaf base then the leaf base it attaches the leaf onto the stem then that point of attachment on a stem is what we call a node and then uh, between this stem and this this leaf stalk we have a bud this eye so this one is called the axillary bud it is the axillary bud then the angle between then we have this angle between a stem and a leaf so this angle between a stem and a leaf on a stem and uh, then it is called an axil so uh, let us name this leaf once again uh, this one is the apex this one is the lamina um, this part is called the leaf blade this one is the leaf stalk or the petal and uh, now this one is what we call the leaf base then at the leaf base we have the node this is the stem then the angle between the stem and the leaf is called an axil and uh, this one is the midrib this one is the leaf vein and this one is the margin now these parts of a leaf they're very important to a leaf uh, let us start with the lamina how important is is this lamina remember we said this lamina is called also called the leaf what uh, the leaf blade then at uh, this lamina it is the part of a leaf which has the what the chlorophyll and within this lamina is where we find the small openings uh, that we call the stoma when it is one is a stoma when there are very many we add it and then it becomes the stomata so this one is a stoma then when we join with this onto this then they become two then it becomes the stomata so the lamina carries the stomata and also holds the veins and also holds the green color which you call chlorophyll therefore the lamina one uh, carries out uh, the lamina carries out the process of photosynthesis it carries out photosynthesis the process by which these plants make their own food number two because it has that green color because this lamina has the small holes the stomata then it also uh, carries out gaseous exchange or it is where gaseous exchange will take a place because it holds the stomata uh -huh. then from that one let us now look at again the stomata found in the lamina so the stomata this stomata they are the actual sites for gaseous exchange so they are used by uh, plants to carry out gaseous exchange that is a uh, breathing and uh, then when we come to the leaf stock uh, this leaf stock uh, this leaf stock its work is to carry or to conduct water and the nutrients to from the stem to the midrib so the leaf stock it conducts or carries so the leaf stock conducts or carries water and nutrients a water and nutrients from the stem to the midrib that's the work of the leaf stalk then we have the leaf base uh, actually the leaf stalk does not hold a stem does not hold a leaf on the stem no it is the leaf base so the leaf base here it holds uh, it holds a leaf it holds a leaf on to a stem then we are having uh, we are having what we call leaf veins uh, then these leaf veins as you are seeing them uh, if now this leaf stock brings the, the water and nutrients then to the midrib then the leaf veins are going to get the water and nutrients from the midrib and supplies them to every part of um, of a leaf at the same time these veins they conduct food that has been made by the leaf uh, to the midrib then the midrib takes it to other parts of a plant to the stem then the stem takes them to the storage organs of a plant so these veins or the leaf veins uh, they conduct or they supply uh, they supply water and nutrients uh, they supply water and nutrients to all the parts of a leaf to all the parts of a leaf so where do they get um where do these veins get this water and nutrients so they get them from the midrib which means that uh, this midrib uh this midrib uh, will supply it will supply or it supplies a uh, water and nutrients water and nutrients to leaf veins to leaf 
veins. So one more time, uh, we will say the lamina, it carries out photosynthesis and is the uh, part where gaseous exchange takes place. Then the stomata, it is the actual site for gaseous exchange, which we have called breathing. Then we will say the lips conducts water and mineral source to the midrib. Then this midrib will supply the water and nutrients to the leaf veins. Then these leaf veins will get the water and supply them to every part of a leaf and uh, uh, and these veins will also conduct food or carry food uh, from the parts from the parts of a leaf where it has been made to the midrib. Then the midrib conducts it to the stem. Then the stem will conduct it or will take it to um, all parts or to any part where it's going to be stored or where it is. 